walking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Hi friends, thank you so much for clicking on today's Raised Bakes video. Today I'm going to be making some dark chocolate fudge brownie cookies here for the holidays. It is the holiday season alive and well, and of course at this time it is cookie season. And I am showing some inexpensive, I think the most expensive ingredient in this recipe are the eggs. I know here in Maryland, right now as of in the winter of 2022, they are very expensive right now. So right now these are gold. <laughs> but for the most part, you can go to your local dollar store, get a box of cake mix, get a box of brownie mix for a buck and some change. You can go to your local Dollar Tree for a dollar and 25 and get yourself some butter and some brownie mix and you can make all kinds of presents to give to your family and friends for the holidays. So without further hesitation and me babbling, let's just jump right into this recipe. Okay, so now that we have everything ready and prepared, what you're definitely going to need is a whole box of dark chocolate fudge brownie mix. If you don't have this, you can just use plain brownie mix or whatever brownie mix that you would like. So you're gonna use this, two eggs, and a half a cup of butter. Now, I am actually going to cut this down to a third cup because that is what I used to always use. Um, or you can also use a third cup of vegetable oil as well or margarine. So I am going to go and melt this and I'm also going to add a sploosh of vanilla inside of it just to give it a little bit more extra flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this mixture underway. Okay, now that the batter is all done and complete, I am going to go put this in the freezer because I'm kind of on the time schedule. My oven is now preheated to 350, if you just heard it go ding a ling a ling And I'm gonna place this in the freezer for a little while just for it to get a little bit more easier to work with because this is a much stickier uh, mixture. So I'm going to put this in the freezer. You can make this batter overnight the night before you're gonna bake, let it sit in the fridge and chill. So I'm gonna let it chill in the freezer and I will be back as soon as it's ready to use. Okay, so I have just taken the cookie brownie or brookie mix out of the freezer and I do have my cookie scoop for this one because that is what the recipe says to do and that's what we do around here. And I'm also going to make, again, two variations of this. I'm going to put one tray in some powdered sugar and put it on here. And then the second half, I'm going to add some Reese's peanut butter chips that I have left over from Fudge. Okay friends, I have the cookies on the cookie sheet. I'm actually going to sit these in the freezer and let them chill before I put them in the oven. I'm gonna set them in there for like about five or so minutes and then I'm going to start working on the next batch of cookies and get them tray ready and then when that tray is ready, I will switcheroo and put these brookies in the oven and then put the other ones in the freezer and then when all of them are out and chilled and cooled down, I will show you the end result. the last batch that I made with the brownie batter mix. 
these I added Reese's peanut butter chips to. These are more brownie-like. They're much more softer. They're a little bit more ooey gooier, but they're still got that crisp edge that we all love from a nice chewy brownie. And let me tell you, these taste phenomenal. So thank you again, friends, for watching some of my cookie videos from my Raised Bakes channel. I appreciate you guys oh so, oh so very much. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let me know down below in the comments if you are going to try this recipe or any other recipe that you have seen on my channel. Happy baking, everyone, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!